now we need to understand what was the rationale for Priestley to have created the character of Inspector Ghoul, right? We do know that in the play he is the most is the most important character because he's the character that is the primary catalyst in the play and he's the primary catalyst for change in the play. So let's look at some of the ways in which he is portrayed and some of the um, values that he represents in the play. Right, the first thing we know is that he is the person in the play that actually brings about the change in a few of the other characters, example, Sheila and Eric, the younger generation, right? And he promotes socialism. He promotes responsibility. He resp uh, promotes um, compassion for others. And what he does in the play is actually represents their conscience. Um, he tries to make the entire Burling family and Gerald Croft understand especially their role of responsibility in society so he actually represents Priestley's voice in the play now as you know at that time because of the strong division uh, between the classes there it was a society and a nation of contrast that means that there was too much of a great divide between the rich upper classes and middle classes in comparison to the poorer working classes who barely made ends meet. So Priestley's role was to actually show that community responsibility and social responsibility was really important so that we can care for others and help others um, in their time of need. Okay, he has a very fundamental didactic role to play in an inspector calls, and especially for the audiences at the time. He wanted to point out the ridiculousness of the viewpoints and the thinking of people at that time. The inspector actually promotes collective responsibility as well. And because he represents Priestley's voice in the play, he also represents the working classes in the play. In the play. Remember, the working classes had no voice. They were the faceless, voiceless majority of people that were subjected to massive exploitation mm -hmm. and inequality at that time. He wanted to use his authority and the control that he had in the play as a character to lead the other characters like the Burlings to some sort of understanding of their role in Eva's death. Right. And as a result of his role, he also creates tension and a lot of intrigue in the play because, remember, he keeps the, the audiences at the edge of their seats because he has a line of questioning that interrogates each member of the Burling family and Gerald Croft, right? And he doesn't really care about how much of wealth the Burlings have. He's not bothered about their display of their power and their self-importance in society. He gets down questioning them in a very intimidating way, which actually exposes their culpability at the end. He's quite an omniscient character. In other words, he seems to know everything that has happened and the diary in the play dramatic device that plays an important role in in giving him the authority that he has um and the control that he has previously presents the inspector as knowing far more than what the other characters think he knows and therefore they are actually quite intimidated anyway Right? And through his line of questioning, he actually controls the action on the stage, he controls the speech on the stage, uh, he controls the movement on the stage. And what happens is we see that he actually challenges values of individuality because remember, he promotes collective responsibility. So he really, really challenges their sense of self-importance. He is portrayed and depicted as someone who actually challenges the values 
of wealthy people. He challenges their hypocrisy. For example, we see hypocrisy when Sybil Berling, who runs the charity, the women's charity, actually refuses to give Eva Smith any help, any financial help in her time of dire need. So he really, really challenges the power um, and the control and the value system that the upper classes had at that time, right? And in his line of questioning, he really, really has an unshakable attitude and approach in his pursuit of the truth because he wants to show the Burlings that their power and their self-importance is of no consequence to him of Eva Smith. So throughout the play and as the play progresses, Priestley depicts the inspector as somebody who actually grows in stature, he grows in authority, and by the end of it all, we see that they're actually quite threatened by his presence on stage. He's quite insightful, he's quite knowledgeable, he's direct, he's unemotional, and he really interrogates and intimidates them. And by doing this, he manages to actually get confessions from the other characters um, in the play, right? And he makes it very, very clear to all of them that, quote, a chain of events, unquote, may have driven Eva to her death. And so the Burlings are able to see what their role was in leading to the death of Eva Smith eventually, right? And he's described uh, by Priestley as being you know, um, having an impression of solidity and purposefulness. And that is really, really important because it actually sets the tone for the authority and control. Inspector Gu actually creates really um, critical moments of tension. At the same time, they're quite intriguing and it keeps the audience engaged because he is basically the tool. He's the vehicle for Priestley's message the moral message. He does not allow Mr. Burling to manipulate him with his, you know, uh, display of ostentatious uh, show of wealth and his name dropping the players. So Inspector Gu is portrayed as this very formidable character who, who champions the cause of the underprivileged, who promotes the whole uh, idea of social responsibility, compassion, of moral truth. And he promotes also the idea that corruption and selfish attitudes are not the way forward. Right, I hope that you found this video useful as well. Thank you. I do hope that you found this lesson useful today, guys. Please like, subscribe and share. And if there's any specific topic you would like help on, do leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.